Hello Toy Car Collectors, we're back again with another video of Japanese cars. This time we're looking at Honda and some other random stuff. And after this, it's going to be Mazda. Uh, but there's going to be a slight delay before we get into Mazda. So let's zoom in and start with these Hondas. Let's see. So the first couple I have are recent Mattel castings. This is a Hot Wheels. It is a Honda, what is it, N, let's see, N600 from 1970. I don't know this car. I think it was the first Honda sold in the U.S., but I was born in 1970, so I don't remember it. It's a cool casting, though, nice and small. Also, another recent one, this is from Matchbox. This is the Civic, 1976, did that say? So it's a Civic CVCC. I um, forget what that stand for, CVCC, but this is the first Civic. This is the one that I remember from when I was a kid. Again, a tiny, tiny car. They put this out in yellow first and then in white also. I think I like the yellow one best. Very cute though. Okay. Um, here, this is an Accord. Uh, it looks like a Scirocco almost. But this was the fancier version of an earlier Civic. This is a play art model. It's got opening doors. Nice front, no details on the back, but there aren't many models of this Accord. And here is a CRX. Hot Wheels has done a couple versions of this car. The old one I think is bad, the new one is good, but this is not Hot Wheels, this is a Johnny Lightning. And I think this is uh, the maybe the second version of the CRX. I don't know. CRX is a funny car. This one is over scale. It was a tiny car. Um, they used to be pretty popular, kind of like the Miata of its day. I think it looks like it'd be a lot of fun to drive. Okay, so let's look at some more Civics. Here's a Civic hatchback. This is from Hot Wheels. This was a, a um, mainline Hot Wheels but with custom real riders, I bought this on eBay. I like this more actually than the one they did the super treasure hunt of, even though it doesn't have detail on the back. Pretty cool. Uh, here's one that came out with the real riders. This is a deluxe. I don't know what this came from, if it was from a, um, maybe Fast and Furious or Japan Historic, something like that. This is a Civic Sedan. I bought this. This is a um, Inno 64. I almost never get anything from Inno 64, but I bought this because I drive a Civic Sedan like this. Obviously, mine is not a souped up version. Mine is a base model. So it's not slammed to the ground. It doesn't have fancy wheels and brakes like that. Uh, mine does not have a spoiler on the back. It doesn't have race harnesses. <clears throat> so this is a fancy model. I wish there was a kind of a not fancy model of this because it's not a fancy car. But this was the only one I could find. Someday I'll do a video on models of cars that I've owned in real life. But not today. And the last Honda here. This is a Prelude. Uh, Hot Wheels just put out the 90s Prelude. Being a younger uh, people, the younger people like that one. I'm older, so I like this 80s Prelude. And actually, I also like the one that came before this, too. So this is a TLV, Tome with a limited vintage. So it's going to be almost perfect quality control wise. It's 
got all the detail you want. Very high quality. Okay, so that's it for Honda. Let's cruise through some of these other random Japanese vehicles. This is a Tomica, an old Tomica. Um, it's an Isuzu, Isuzu Journey. And the reason I have this is not because of its Isuzu-ness, but because it's a library. It's a bookmobile. This opens up. You can see the books on the shelves in there. If you look in the windows on the other side, you can see more bookshelves. So I'm a, actually even more of a book person than a car person. As many toy cars as I have, I have even more books. Books are, are great to me. Um, I think the decline of books is even worse than the decline of the stick shift. So there. So, bookmobile. All right, uh, let's keep going. This is a Subaru BRZ with a body kit and a big wing. This is a, a Hot Wheels model, just recent. Pretty cool car. Here is a Mitsubishi. This one we knew in the States as a 3000, I believe, but this is a Tomica model. They call it a GTO, twin turbo. This was Tomica Premium, I think, because it's got the fancier wheels. Doesn't have any moving parts, though. This was kind of a cool car. I know Auto World just put this out, but I, or is just about to or something, but I don't have that yet. I have the Stealth version, but not the Mitsubishi version. And here's another Mitsubishi. This is a Starion. I always like this car. It's from my era. This is Pop Race. Inno 64, another one. I told you I don't have many, but that's two. So this is a Rally Starion. You see it's got a roll cage in it. It's got the race colors and everything. The Starion was a cool looking car and it also gets big respect because Jackie Chan drove one. Jackie Chan is big into Mitsubishis. They're a big supporter of his and he drives their cars in the movies a lot. So look out for Jackie driving a Starion. All right, enough Mitsubishi. Uh, this car, as it says right here, this is a Dome Zero. Dome was a, I guess, a small Japanese car company. They intended to make this into production. I don't think it ever actually happened. This model is made by that brand I can't pronounce, spelled F-A-I-E. It's got opening scissor doors. And this one is probably a ripoff of this, which is the Tomica version. Looks almost the same. Also got the opening scissor doors, but the Tomica is much higher quality all around. There is a Tomica limited version of this that looks really cool, but I don't have that one. Okay, some more strange Japanese cars. This is a Mitsuoka Orochi. It's a fairly recent Tomica model. Uh, this red one, I don't know if this was if there was anything special about that. It's got an opening engine compartment. But the more common one is the purple one here. Another Orochi. This is kind of a crazy car. Um, the thing that I like about this car, if you look at the front of it, it looks just like a character from a movie. Um, if you ever watch um, the movie um, Totoro, it's a really cute Japanese animated film. And in Totoro, there's a bus that's a cat. And the, the cat bus has eyes that look like this and a smile that looks like this. So I haven't verified this with anybody, but I believe deep down in my heart that this Mitsuoki Orochi was inspired by the cat bus from Totoro. But it's not the only car Mitsuoki has done. This is a nice Mitsuoki. This is another recent Tomica. It's called a Rockstar, Mitsuoka Rockstar. And what this is, is basically 
an old Corvette style body on top of a Miata. Uh, the model's got a removable top because it's a convertible. So I have this in two colors, the red and metallic blue. I think I like the blue one better. And you know, I've heard a lot that the Miata is a fun car to drive, but it's sure is boring to look at. So I totally approve of this. It looks a lot better than a Miata to me. All right, couple more. This is, these are also Tomica models. This one's called a Shiden 77 BMW. This was a race car. It had a BMW motor in it, and it was made by a Japanese racing company called Mooncraft. And the last one I have here is another Mooncraft from Tomica. This one's called a Mooncraft Special. Don't really know anything about it. I like the shape. I like the colors. Very cool car. I like the race wheels on it. All right. So there you go. Let's zoom back out. This was Honda and a bunch of other random Japanese cars. I have one more video to do on Japanese cars, which is going to be Mazda. But that's going to be delayed for a few hours because I'm pretty sure I have a Mazda coming in today's mail. So look out for that one later today. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below and check out my playlists. Bye-bye.